Hi, Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is busy adding a lot more AI into the Windows OS and also into the Edge browser. And if this is something that interests you, then just a video to show you two new features regarding AI that Microsoft is currently testing in Edge Canary 124, which is the latest preview version. Now, the two features we're going to have a look at today are um, Notebook, which is found in Copilot, and Designer using the image viewer and image editor that's um, built into the actual browser. Now, the first is Copilot um, that is going to be getting Notebook. Now, currently in Edge, if we head over to Copilot online in the browser, as I've posted previously, and this video will be uh, in the end screen, we get Notebook which is a handy new user interface that will let you type a text prompt on the left side and then you'll see the results on the right side and it also supports 18,000 characters per conversation. So very handy um, for long form content. So that's just a quick recap. Now this is the feature that's going to be integrated into um, the Copilot in the side panel of Microsoft Edge which currently is not available in the stable version. So how are we going to enable these two features today is using a command line flag. And here are the two command line flags we are going to use. The first one is for um, Notebook in Copilot in the side panel. And the second one is for editing images with Designer. And both of these will be down below for you to copy and paste if you'd like to try this out in Edge Canary. Now, I've already enabled the first command line flag for um, adding Notebook to a Copilot. And if we head back there now with that command line flag enabled, we will see now if we head to the three dot menu, we've got Notebook, which is a new option now. And as mentioned previously, um, the new user interface will let you type a text prompt, which will now be on the top in the side panel and then you'll see the results at the bottom and the big one here is you get 18,000 characters which is very handy and um, as mentioned for more long-form content and you can also enter bigger and more detailed prompts into Copilot using Notebook so quite a handy feature if you are using AR and the actual Copilot in Microsoft Edge especially in the side panel so that's the first of two features now if you are wondering how you enable a command line flag when I enable um, the next feature, we're going to go through the process of enabling a command line flag. So that's the first, that's Notebook in Copilot. Now the second is editing an image with a Designer. Now Designer is already bundled into the site panel. Um, and basically, as you may well know, Designer is uh, basically a souped up version of a um, publisher where you can create your own images with prompt templates and so on. And if you want more information regarding designer, just do a search accordingly on the channel because I have posted quite a lot of content. Now, just a quick recap. If we head to an image online, currently in Microsoft Edge for desktop, if we right click, in the context menu, we have edit image, which opens up um, some the uh, image viewer where you've got basic actions you can carry out crop adjustment filter markup now this is where it's all set to change where clicking on a right clicking on an image now when you click on edit image will open up designer now instead of uh, the so-called legacy photo viewer for want of a better word so to enable designer in the image viewer and to enable the command line flag what we need to do is first of all we need to copy that command line flag and remember I said both of these will be down below. We right click on any shortcut for Edge Canary. We head to properties. And if there's anything in the target that's to the right hand side of .exe quotations, you must delete that. So make sure anything that's there is deleted. And so it's .exe quotations, you leave a space and then you enter the command, the relevant command line flag. So you must leave a space over there, else this will not work. You click on apply, okay. Now we'll have to close Edge Canary to apply that flag. And now 
if we just head back to Microsoft Edge Canary and we head over to the same image online that should now if we right click on that image edit image that should open this up now in designer now you see it's not now this is quite okay and quite common because sometimes command line flags um do not work as expected and it does take a little bit of fiddling around so what we're going to do is i'm just going to pin that to my taskbar quickly let's move it over there let's close edge canary once again let's open it again and let's head back and let's right click on that image sorry the browser is a little bit slower because we are messing around with internal workings of the actual browser and now you'll see as mentioned just close open and close the browser a couple of times if the command line flag doesn't work at first it's quite normal and yeah you'll see this is now opening up uh, the relevant image um, online in designer which basically will let you then edit using AI tools and you've got your adjustment and filters so I think that's a nice move, especially if you are doing a lot of uh, designing and um, you can now right click on that image online and then open up the image in the image viewer and edit that image using designer. And uh, as mentioned, both of these features are not available as yet uh, in the stable version and it's still very early days in Edge Canary. But um, just wanted to put that out there because I think there's a good chance that both of these features will be making their way to stable eventually uh, because, as mentioned, Microsoft, Microsoft is pushing a lot of AI now, um, like it or hate it, into Windows and Microsoft Edge. And as mentioned, both the command line flags for the features we have enabled today will be in the description for you to copy and paste um, if you would be interested. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.